Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus by Francis P. Church. Dear editor, I am eight years old. Some of my little friends say there is no Santa Claus. Papa says if you see it in the sun, it's so. Please tell me the truth. Is there a Santa Claus? Virginia, your little friends are wrong. They have been affected by the skepticism of a skeptical age. They do not believe except they see. They think that nothing can be which is not comprehensible by their little minds. All minds, Virginia, whether they be men's or children's, are little. In this great universe of ours, man is a mere insect, an ant. In his intellect, as compared with the boundless world about him, as measured by the intelligence capable of grasping the whole of truth and knowledge. Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. He exists as certainly as love and generosity and devotion exist. And you know that they abound and give to your life its highest beauty and joy. Alas, how dreary would be the world if there were no Santa Claus. It would be as dreary as if there would be no Virginias. There would be no childlike faith, no poetry, no romance to make tolerable this, ex exist this existence. We should have no enjoyment except in sense and sight. The eternal light with which childhood fills the world would be extinguished. Not believe, <laughs> excuse me, not believe in Santa Claus. You might as well not believe in fairies. You might get your ma papa to hire men to watch all the chimneys on Christmas Eve to catch Santa Claus. But even if they did not see Santa Claus coming down, what would that prove? Nobody sees Santa Claus. The most real things in the world are those that neither children nor men can see. No Santa Claus? Thank God. He lives and he lives forever. A thousand years from now, Virginia, 10,000 years from now, he will continue to make glad the hearts of children. And this was printed in the New York Sun, September 21st. 1897 and it's still good today and here is Santa Claus as he was weeks ago making his list and this is a Norman Rockwell print and I'm the book that I'm uh, that I got this from is a Norman Rockwell uh, edition of all the Christmas stories and this is his print and I thought that was real cute he's mulling over all the list and today all of you know that uh, what he was thinking about I wanted to tell my audience today, uh, besides wishing them a Merry Christmas, the Upper Room, which is put out by the Methodist Church, has uh, on Christmas Day, which is quite an honor, uh, Dr. J. Carlisle Miller, who lived in Selma for about three years, and he gives the message for Christmas Day in the Upper Room for this day, and I just wanted to remind you of that. I might give you just a little prayer that we might have today. We thank you, O oh God, for the wonderful message that to us a Savior is born, Christ the Lord. Help us to receive him joyfully. Amen. And then the thought for the day is, God has moved in among us and he lives with us. I want to thank Helen Edwards for being with us today. She has been with us every Christmas for the last nine years and presented the littlest angel to us. And it certainly is a beautiful message. And I think sometimes the gifts that are the most wonderful um, are those that come straight from the heart. Have a nice day and a Merry Christmas.